My name's Mick Harding. I'm a Takung Wurrung man, commonly known as Tanarong, part of the five language groups that make up the Kulin people. Because I never grew up knowing about my culture, since I have known about it, I've just continued to absorb it, to be involved, participate, to make changes for the better for us as First Nations people. The best part of 20 years, I worked in Aboriginal cultural heritage, talking with all kinds of people in our community or communities on how you apply your mind to your craft and how then you express for different cultural reasons. Wood is my main medium, I make Aboriginal artefacts. I'm often out in the bush looking for particular types of wood to make boomerangs, shields, tarnucks which are coolmans. When I'm making things, I'm really interested in quality, both the cultural quality, so accuracy in terms of icons and symbols and how we use them and what they mean, and then about creating a quality item because I've never used clay before. The first two weeks I was trying to learn how I can express similar things to what I do with wood. With pottery we actually think about how we're gonna sell these at the same time. We just don't make it for ourselves, we sell it for everyone else. <laughs> I found by actually just using my hands and my fingers, I could really have a lot more control over it. I tended to put the, the tools down and use my fingers and use my hands and it feels good. It seems like your fingers are a much better tool than the tools themselves. After the fourth week of our intensives, I'm starting to see what happens when it comes out of the kiln. After we're finished here, I'll probably see that my first lot of underglows. I was going to do five canisters, tea, coffee, sugar, flour, rice, but I only got to three. On the main body of the canister is this shield design off the lino, and the lids have got a bark impression on them, a little bit like a mushroom, but then when you look on the top of it, it's got all the, the bark texture on it. The things that I'm making are, they're called Danuks, which are, people probably know them as Coolmans. I often use shield shapes as a metaphor around protecting our families, protecting our communities. Creating a safe space for ourselves so we can be the best versions of ourselves. Thing like black design, you get an opportunity to be with other blackfellas and you look after one another and you create that good space and, and also you get to express things out of your head and out of your body and I reckon it's really good and really healthy for everyone to be able to access that and share that and be part of that. And they're not all symmetrical. And they've you know, got that bark, bark design on as well, so, and then you can just pick the lids up like this. Yeah. Oh. yeah.